Hello, today we're going to set up a 2D touch using a fan and cobot. I'm going to start by recording the home position. Next what I'm going to do is give the robot an instruction to start searching. You'll find this instruction under the touch sensor tab under the F1 instruction key. We're going to select search start. The first value it's asking for is your touch schedule. I set up touch schedule number three, so I'm going to select three and type in enter. I'm also going to use a different position register number. In this example, I'm using position register 12. What I'm going to do now is jog the robot to my first location for my search. I'm going to bring the robot back here in location for my Y search. I'm going to record a point space. I'm going to make that a J motion with a fine termination. I'm going to record another point space as a linear motion with a fine termination, and I'm going to change the position ID numbers to match so they're the exact same location in space. Line 3, the first position ID 2, is the robot getting to the search location. Line 4, the second position 2, is the robot searching from that location. To tell the robot to search from that location, cursor to the end of line 4, press F4 choice, and select search. Which direction is it going to search? From this example, the way it's set up, my part's going to move in the Y plus direction. So I'm going to select my Y direction. Now I'm going to move the robot into position so it can move safely around the part. I'm going to record that point. And now I'm going to move the robot to another location for the search in the X direction. I'm going to record two points at this location. The first point is the robot getting to the search location. The second point is the robot searching from that location. And again, I will change my position ID numbers to match. And at the second line P4, line seven, I'm gonna put my search instruction in here. Now, which direction is the robot searching? It's gonna search in the X plus direction because my part's gonna move in the Y as well as the X direction. So I'm going to select X. A 2D search or 2D touch requires one search in two different search directions. We have that with our X as well as our Y direction search. So I'm going to tell the robot to stop searching. F1 instruction, touch sensor, and select search end. The next point I'm going to record is the robot moving to a safe location away from my part. I'm going to record this point with the F1 key. Now, the next motion lines I'm going to have in my program are going to be my approach, my weld start, my weld end, and my escape point. These are the points I want the robot to move or offset if my part shifts. So I need to give the robot that instruction. To do that, you're going to press your F1 instruction key, go to touch sensor, and select touch offset. It's asking for a position register. I'm going to use position register 12. Now I'm going to continue to make my program just like normal. I'm going to record my approach point. So I'm going to jog my robot to an approach point. I'm going to record that. I'm going to record my weld start location. Once I get my robot and my weld start location, I'm going to record that. Remove my robot to my weld end location. Record that. And I'm going to record an escape position. Now, those are the points my approach, my weld start, my weld end, and my escape point are the points I want to move with my part. After those program points are done, I want to tell the robot to stop moving with my part. So I'm going to go to touch sensor under F1 instruction, touch sensor, touch offset end. I'm going to record another point and tell the robot to go back home since I'm done with my program. I'm going to double check to make sure my master flag is turned on so I can learn the part. And I'm going to execute my program now. The robot comes down searches in Y, comes over, searches in X, 
And now the robot is going to come and run the path that was just taught. After the program is complete, I'm going to go back into my touch schedule and I'm going to turn off the master flag on line two here in my touch schedule. Then I'm going to execute the program again. The first time we execute the park, we have the master flag on. This allows the robot to learn the position of the park. Then I execute the program with the master flag off to make sure the robot accepted the part. Now the third time I go to run my program, I'm going to shift the part in the X and Y direction. And now I'm going to run my program. The robot's going to search for my part in X and Y. It's going to compare that location to the master location. And now it's going to apply offset based on the information in position register 12 to my program. And that is how you perform a 2D touch with a Fanicobot.